As, as an individual investing in our community, we all have an opportunity to make this community a better place. In 1998, I started Country Wood. I never expected we'd be the size we are. And we got to talking about a trust fund. Then we got to talking about the, the community foundation. If I could help young kids, the Boys and Girls Club, Big Brother, Big Sister, what can you do for them, you know? Communities need to make a space where it's easier to be a parent. I'm a parent myself and trying to find quality care in this area, any area for that matter, where you can go and trust your children to be and have a safe environment and a learning environment. The story I hear most often is, oh, we had this space, but it was too expensive to blah, 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 so it was torn down and turned into a parking lot. That's not the story of Goshen in my experience. And like the building has great bones, isn't that what they say? In real estate, there's a lot here to build on, um, but there are a lot of things that still need to happen. It's a part of our theology is all gifts are gifts from God. Uh, so how do we manage them? How do we steward them? How do we be good stewards, not just of uh, the time and the talents, but, but also the, the finances that God has uh, given to us? This project, uh, it, it was a dump. You couldn't call it a sanitary landfill because it had none of the protections that that type of landfill would have for the environment or for human health. We brainstormed over what might we do with this old dump that was on fire more than it was out and had the audacity to dream that it might uh, one day in the future be an environmental education park. So the ministry doesn't happen without the people's support. I think that's part of the beauty of the church is to uh, have different people from different backgrounds come together. Um, but also uh, the gift of the Community Foundation is uh, that you have professionals, uh, whereas some of our members don't have those gifts. You know, there are not a lot of communities that have um, you know, such a gift that the Community Foundation has in, in order to you know, pump that money into the community. Um, continue to build um, and invest in the place that we live. You know, the collaboration that the, that the Community Foundation brings to our community, it's a really positive thing. Look, this is, this is out of the box thinking. We love to help everyone be connected to the causes that they want to impact in this community and being able to not have to focus on one mission but really the mission of everybody's hearts is really inspiring to me. They are fulfilling our mission. We're helping them accomplish theirs but our mission is their, is their work. To me it's about partnership. The foundation plays a role can't exist without the nonprofits doing the work, can't accomplish its mission. They are very invested in this community. I want Goshen Theater to be a arts and culture hub for Goshen and for Elkhart County. The theater, it's one of our few sacred spaces culturally that's left. You walk in here and people turn off their phones and put them away. We want to provide those connections to art for anybody. We went from a small house with four therapists um, to this amazing, what I think is amazing, facility. The Community Foundation helped support and helped get us in. Uh, we've been able to double our staff size. Uh, it's made a big impact in our ability to serve the community. We've grown from a 33-acre dump to a 128-greenway-acre system that's allowed thousands of students to be able to come through here. And, and that's what we push here, is we push kind of that educational understanding. The kids have their own space, they have their own playgrounds, which is a big deal, that they can go out any time now. We're so proud of our new facility. You can see the creativity and, and the different projects that the kids have. We really want to take care of it and, and make sure that it continues to grow and develop with, with our students. Oftentimes we look at scholarships and obviously the money is important to that, but what that says to a student or somebody receiving that scholarship that somebody is investing in my future. Anytime that they can get some assistance, it's very important. 
uh, no matter what the amount is, it's very important. I have uh, six children, and uh, my son Matt passed away two years ago, July 9th. He worked for a kombucha company. Uh, he was very modest. <laughs> and uh, when he would leave somewhere, he would always say, be nice to each other out there, people. That was his mantra. Matt spent a lot of hours in that boat. <laughs> Home is bigger than a particular residence. Home may be where Wendy and I take another couple out to eat, and home is where we enjoy the Botanic Garden or the Jazz Festival or Fiddler Pond. And I'm thankful for all the stuff that creates my home. Matt was so generous with his time and talent, and he, he didn't like any of the limelight, you know. He was just... Is going along. <laughs> we wanted to uh, keep his memory alive and do something philanthropic in the community. So that's why we went to the foundation and started the fund in his name. The main thing is, is getting Matt's message out there of being kind to each other out there. This time in the world, we need it <laughs> badly. <laughs>